As founder of Fearless 50 is a motivational coaching and consulting business working with women in transition, Jacqueline Wales is passionate about helping women create the life they want. Jacqueline is also a singer-songwriter and an author of four books, including When the Crow Sings and The Fearless Factor. And Jacqueline, great to see you. It's nice to see you, Mike. So how do we measure success? Well, success for most people is measured by the things that we've acquired. It's the homes, the cars, the money in the bank, the schools that the children go to. It's the status symbols. That, for most people, is their symbol of success. It's the tangible. But they forget that there's an amazing quality to success that most of us overlook. In fact, I've done exercises where I'll say to people, how many, how, what is the successes of your life? And most people have a hard time telling you what that is, if it's not in the tangible. So for me, success is, how well do we live our life? What is that all about? Let's talk about obstacles. What's the biggest obstacle that gets in the way? Mostly in the mind. It's because we go to a mindset of limitation rather than a mindset of expansion and abundance. And that's one of my favorite themes, in fact, in terms of determining whether you are a success or not, is how you think. We think first and then the action follows and then we get the results. So it's thinking, action, results. So successes are measured by what kind of actions are we taking, what kind of results are we getting. How important is good attitude in your work? Well, I definitely would say again, a good attitude, believing that we never come from a place of limitation. The universe wasn't created out of limitation. We certainly don't want to take ourselves into that negative space. So the good attitude is, I can achieve anything I want to. I set my mind to it, I set a goal, and I move forward towards that goal. In this current period of financial instability, many are stressed. What specifically are you recommending to be successful in business today? Well, I think first of all, you have to keep in mind that most of the insecurities are created by the media. We have bad news almost every single place we look. And the media is actually based on creating fear. And let's face it, we've had eight years of fear for the last, you know, since 9-11. So what's going on right now is really a major correction. It's a time of transition. But most people aren't perceiving it as such. They're seeing this as chicken little. The sky is falling. So what do we do to take our head out of the sky is falling? Because it's not falling. It is simply a correction that's going on. We're in a time of transition, and transition always has chaos involved with it. So you have to define where you are in that. And as I say to people, are you broke right now? And they say, no. And I say, have you lost your home right now? No. Well, then you're kind of ahead of the game at this point, you know. So there's, there's the headset again of, of keeping that in mind. So what are your favorite keys to success? I think for me, the key to success is simply, as I've said, keep your eye on the goal. Make sure that your desires are clear. And the desire is to, for more life, shall we say. We don't come from limitation, we live in abundance. So even when we're confronted with that, it's a myth. It's, it's the illusion that we live in. Let's face it, most people are sleepwalking. So the keys to success in my life are, I know what my goals are, and I stay completely focused on that. I keep my head out of the newspapers, I keep my head out of the television, and I don't want to go into that negative headspace. And it's a training, if you like. It's a training out of the habituation of the negative, because that's how most people function, into the positive. Because in effect, that's what creates the, the right results. Right results come out of right decisions and right choices. And that's where your successes are. You said that it's, a lot of this is media driven, this fear. But aren't they just reporting on reality at the moment? Well, it's reality, but it's exaggerated reality. I just read a book recently called The Science of Fear, mm -hmm. and he did a complete analysis of all the different dramas that have gone on in the health industry and in the finance industry and so forth. The numbers get inflated, or they don't get compared against the reality. So, for instance, right now, the housing markets, according to this morning's news, are up 5.1%. But meanwhile, the homes in foreclosure are at 21%. So the average person reading that, what does that mean? Mm. You know, it looks like we're improving, but 
or not really. Mm -hmm. So how do you find the numbers? How do you find this, the facts to really analyze for yourself? Because everybody wants to create the headline. Mm -hmm. They want the drama of it all because that's what sells. So how do you find the facts? I think a lot of it is for yourself. Figure out what resonates for you. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going to be going into my bank account and seeing that I've lost 35% at this point in time, and I want to go into panic mode about I'm going to be broke sometime soon, or I'm going to go into the headset that says, for today, I have enough. I have a roof over my head. I have enough money in the bank to continue living the way that I'm doing. And I know that things will change. We've had over 61, res yeah, 61 recessions since the beginning of the century. Now, if you look at that, constantly, mm -hmm. course correction. Mm -hmm. You never get from point A to point B in a straight line. Mm -hmm. There's always a zigzag to it. So it's constant course correction. And that's all that's going on right now, is mm -hmm. course correction. And if somebody wants to find out more, how do they do that? Well, they can certainly find out more at www.fearless50s.com. And uh, I have a whole bunch of programs on how to get past the fears, 10 secrets to taking fear out of your life. My latest book, The Fearless Factor, talks about how we are really kind of driven by our fears mm -hmm. and what we can do to step beyond them. So I, I, again, my thinking is always, fear is imagination-based. Get beyond that and everything is abundant. Jacqueline Wiles, thank you very much. My pleasure, Mike, thank you.